हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ ऑल अबाउट ब्रिज इंजीनियरिंग सो टूडे आई केम अक्रॉस अ वेरी सिंपल येट अ यूनिक स्ट्रक्चर सो दिस इज एक्चुअली अ वहीकुलर ओवर पास एंड यू कैन सी दैट एट द बॉटम लेवल नेशनल हाईवे फोर लेन रोड इज प्रजेंट हाउ एवर एट द टॉप लेवल अ वेरी थिन और वेरी स्मॉल विथ ऑफ द टोटल कैरेज वे इज अवेलेबल सो मे बी दिस इज some rural road or a pmg spy road or maybe a minor district road at the top but the point of interest in this structure is that at the pier cap location there are no bearings which means that this structure is actually integral in form that is the superstructure and the substructure are monolithic which also means that the advantages of having bearings at the pier cap like the reduction in forces due to temperature the reduction in forces that travel from superstructure to the substructure due to breaking as well as the reduction in forces due to creep and shrinkage is lost in such type of structures but that does not mean that these structures are poor these structures are very well efficient in terms of their structural behavior the only thing is that the substructure in this case needs to be designed for additional forces or additional stresses the major stresses being temperature stresses creep and shrinkage stresses and the longitudinal forces that are transferred from the superstructure due to the movement of live load such as the breaking forces but another thing to be noted is as per the indian road congress codes the maximum vertical clearance between the bottom of the superstructure to the frl at the bottom level of the road should be 5.5 meters in case it is a vehicular overpass so but this is evident that it is a vehicular overpass only not a light vehicular overpass and also have a look at the pier at the bottom location so you can see that this is painted with anti reflective paint because it is standing or it is lying inside the median of this very entire four lane national highway at the bottom level which also means that its probability of strike the vehicle colliding with this the probability of vehicle colliding with this pier is very high and this pier must have been designed for collision loads as per IRC 6 you can check out this snapshot of collision loads which i have taken from IRC 6 and definitely this structure should have been designed for the collision loads but now the advantage of this structure over the traditional structures where there are bearings is that the cost involved in the regular replacement and maintenance of bearings as well as expansion joints is totally eliminated in such type of structures so cost wise it may be a effective solution but definitely the bottom substructure of this very vehicular overpass will have more forces to which it should be definitely taken care of so that was all in this episode stay tuned for more such updates and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please subscribe